Hello, thanks for joining us. Today we're talking a little bit more about self-doubt. And we started a series and we're glad that you joined us. My name is Karen Sims. You joined us for our Reflections of Purpose. And today we're continuing our topic on quenching self-doubt. And so we started with some questions from some fans and it kind of opened up um, a lot more for us to have the opportunity to talk about self-doubt, what it does. And then we kind of uh, created another video on top of that um, entitled Quenching Self-Doubt, uh, where we went into um, just some steps for you to be able to get away from um, that uh, negative mindset or limited uh, thinking and mindset that causes self-doubt to come in. But I wanted to create more respect series for this. So we're going to be on this, you know, every now and then I get on one and this is one where I want us to talk a little bit about, um, confronting the things that cause us to feed that self-doubt. So usually self-doubt comes in in different ways. And a lot of times it may be us kind of second guessing ourselves or doubting our ability or doubting our beauty or even doubting our worth. And so it gives us in the mindset to think, we're not enough. We don't have enough education. We don't have enough expertise. We don't have enough money. We don't have enough beauty. We're too big. We're too small. We're too this. The, the thoughts of comparison come in and they pretty much just take over everything that we were thinking about. And so when we get focused on those things that are just like out of whack, it becomes um, really important for us to think about how do we get rid of those thoughts of self-doubt? So you're thinking about self-doubt and many of us, we, we truly, we just lie to ourselves. You know, it's like, no, I don't do that. You know, my confidence level is good. You know, I'm going to fake it till I make it. But sometimes faking it until you make it causes you to have an identity crisis that you don't always recover from. And so I always think of the fact of how can we kind of push forward in a way that is conducive to positive growth in our own lives, but without, um, having to deal with the negative effects of um, the imposter syndrome. And we talk a little bit about that. That's going to be a reflection of the purpose that comes up and, and how thoughts of inadequacy come in and they still are joy. They set kind of the foundation of thoughts of depression. Even if we go a lot deeper thoughts of suicide, where we think, oh, you know, the world doesn't need us. or we think that, um, our contributions are not what they should be. Well, I mean, the reality of it is that there are certain parts of our life where we could do more, you know, we could, we could study more, we could save more money. We could not spend so much. We could prepare for that next big thing. But if we don't battle the thoughts of self doubt, they'll continue to build and grow. And so I love it because a lot of different, um, authors and speakers and motivational speakers, you name it. They talk about having positive daily aspirations. And I want to say a little bit about what that does. And so when we get a voice in our head, a lot of times we we've heard maybe, um, maybe our parents weren't always as loving, you know, we didn't come with handbooks. We didn't come with manuals. And so some folks, they, they just did what they thought was right as they went along. And maybe it wasn't the right thing for us, you know? Um, I laugh with my children all the time because they mention and, and I know that they have uh, tough skin just because of the way that we grew up. But I wasn't really a parent who did like normal punishment. So literally my kids would be like, you know, if you could just spank us and send us outside because I would make them do things that were character building. And at the time it wasn't like I was so genius. It was just like, it's too many of them. I don't got that kind of energy to, you know, be whacking on everybody. But when you think on, how can you set yourself up for what might come? So in talking to a couple of people, you know, I have interesting conversations with people. Sometimes it's over text message. Sometimes it's over telephone. And I find that there are times that God really connects me with people who not only understand me, but they sometimes are going through what I'm going through. You know, you ever have that where it's like, 
Oh my goodness. Somebody starts talking and you're like, I can relate. I understand that thing that you're talking about. And so it made me really think, okay, we need to dig in a little bit deeper about this self-doubt. Cause as we get into, you know, the world is waiting for you series. And that's a whole nother series. And we're pushing forward with the reflections of purpose. There's always some things that happen that, um, kind of are the breeding ground for self doubt. So if you find yourself isolated and not getting any type of, um, I want to say encouragement from other people's yes, it's great for us to motivate ourselves and encourage ourselves. But a lot of times, you know, the, the scriptures tell us, you know, don't forsake the fellowship in of the saints. And that just means people need people. You, I need you. You need me. I need you all to subscribe to this channel so we can keep these messages going out. I know some of you out there, y'all, y'all don't want to press the button. I get it but we need each other. And the reason why it's so important for you to check yourself in those times is that usually when you have that self doubt is because you've been by yourself. Mm. Now for everybody, that's not the case, but it, it sometimes can also mean that you haven't had interaction with your hype people. So I often talk a lot of times about we all need that hype man, that hype girl in our corner, you know, that um, I'm a hip hop person and, and my background. So it's like flavor, flavor, maybe not him, but you need that ultimate hype man who's going to hype the crowd. I remember as far as an entertainer, I love Dougie Fresh. Okay. He is one of my favorites and he's one of my favorites because he can hype any crowd. And a lot of times it's just because he's focusing on the positivity. He's focusing on, we loving life. We loving music. We're getting into it and it's exciting. How about for you? You know, sometimes you may press play and we get all types of messages that are going on here, but as we are combating the thoughts of self doubt, we got to really figure out what are the things that make us happy? What are the things that take us to that hype place to be like, all right, you know, some of us, we got morning music and we get moving and it's like, yes, today is going to be a good day. Why? Because I heard my favorite song. Maybe it was in the car. Maybe it was um, when I'm getting in the shower. Maybe you sung it and you had your Mariah Carey, Whitney Houston moments going on in the shower. Whatever it is, you got to have that connectedness and check yourself if you get too isolated. Call up your friends who you know they're your cheerleaders and be like, you know, hey, I need you today. I need some encouragement. And sometimes it'll just be like, hey, if you all could pray for me, I am thankful and grateful that I have sisters and people who are in my corner who come and I'll be like, look, I need somebody to pray for me. You know, maybe, maybe the job is getting too stressful. Maybe these kids are getting on my nerves. For many of you, it may be a spouse. It may be, you know, it may be you um, got a bad doctor's report. But even with that, Having a positive mindset about the things around you is an inside job. How about that? But it doesn't mean that you're the only employee. You got to employ yourself some great cheerleaders around you. Make sure that you got people who are speaking into you and reminding you of your brilliance, reminding you of your beauty, reminding you of the unique way that you impact people's lives on a daily basis. Now, look. We'll talk about, you know, how fear sets in and how other limited beliefs will set in and get us um, just like clogged up in our mind. But the same type of thing, like, you know, you go on a detox and we talk about emotional detox in one of our reflections of purpose. You got to do the same thing for yourself. And so I wanted to get on here to set this up because we're going to be talking about this for a little while because I realized it's not just something that you all go through. It's something that I combat daily as well. And I try to, you know, have daily uh, positive faith aspirations where I'm saying what it is that I believe that my life will be, what impact I believe that I can make. But first things first, as I always say, I don't even know how I come up with these lines sometimes. But we've got to make sure that we're not isolated. Make sure that we are getting connected with our fellowship and with folks. Get our hype people. Tell them, hey, look, I'm about to go on the up the, the rough side of the mountain and I need you all to kind of get on task and make sure you're checking on me. I always say that we need accountability partners for every area of our life because it's so very important. But look, the next portion of this series, we're going to get into this and talk about what self-doubt self sounds like. 
because many of you have tricked yourself into believing that this is not your issue. And I want to confront it because we don't have time to lose. We don't have time to waste. Success is the destination that we're moving forward with. And we don't want to miss or lose any of you because self-doubt came in and you might be saying to yourself, these messages are for everybody else but me. I'm telling you today, these messages are specifically for you. They're from conversations. They're from things that I've heard from those folks that are supporting me. I don't want to call y'all fans because that's not who you are. You all are family. You're part of the Twisted Thread Squad, and we're excited that you joined us. Look, thank you so much for joining us today. These are our reflections of purpose. Remember to like and share the videos and subscribe. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's what keeps us going. And so we need your support in that area, but we, we appreciate you pressing play today. There'll be more videos. Make sure you press play on part two, three, four, and five. However long this takes, we're going to take care of this and tackle this one person, one issue at a time. It's Twisted Threads. Make it an amazing day. <laughs>